Hello guys, happy Halloween. Since release of my course, I've been asked to showcase my behind the scene work, how I actually work on my metahumans and just show different techniques and just show my characters. I started with my Bigfoot, which took a day. And now this Chucky inspired character took a day to really put everything together, including the outfits and put some poses and render it out. This Chucky was inspired from the version of, uh, from the movie Seed of Chucky. I thought this version gonna look better, you know, turning into the meta human because I think it looked more like a human comparing to the, like, you know, child of play Chucky, which is like really, really dull and I kind of like more creating these characters to giving them some human looks. So this version with Chucky, I think in the mix of that meta-human, humanoid look, I could actually come up with something very interesting. So to speed up things, I obviously started with meta-human creator. So I took one of the child faces, made some tweaks, put it in Unreal Engine, put it in the blender and started to sculpt the base shape. Again, like, you know, not going too much into the detail. Like, you know, I, I, I knew just a few things that, you know, is these proportions. I needed to make like, so we can make a wide smile, so we can have that creepy smile. I needed to put a focus on the eyes to make big eyes. Cause usually like, you know, that that looks really dull uh, to kind of compensate that whole face. So it doesn't look bulky. Also, you can see in the original Chucky, the nose is smaller. So I kind of worked a bit, to make his nose smaller. So when I was done with the base shape, one of the big challenges working with meta humans, especially if you're customizing the eyes, doesn't matter what kind of eye shape you make, usually eyes are the same size. That's why most, all, all the metahumans basically look the same. So if I run this mesh through the metahuman, uh, meshed metahuman, eyes are gonna be way too small for what I need. So I needed to take my character into the Maya and play around with the DNA and, and ad adjust the bones so it fits uh, the new eyeballs. Uh, for the face texturing, I, I went very easy. So I, I got some plastic material, started to adjust the tweak a bit, the settings to, to mix and match. I, I put a bit actually skin in, kind of again, get that uh, something between the skin look and plastic doll look. To, to make scars, I have a smart material, made wounds with that one, and then used just a regular stitch thing that is already in Substance Painter to kind of get the, the final details to make the damages, the cover, like, you know, so the, the face is stitched together and then it started come the clothing. To save the time, I use actually the sweater that's already MetaHumans has. I scale it to fit the Chucky and then put in Substance Painter. I made the texture in uh, Photoshop and then just projected it on the sweater. Worked out perfectly. Then for the, for the shoes, I actually took, again, just made a human shoes, put it red, adjusted a, a bit the parameters to make them a bit like old looking. And then the, all that denim outfit, that one I needed to make from the scratch. So I went to the Marvel's designer, I had my proxy mesh, which was, had already like, you know, chalky with a sweater on and, and shoes. So it's easier to line. Use already the template pants and t-shirt that he has, start to sew it together obviously take off the arms and then just adjust the overall shape. Uh, then when the outfit was done, I retopologize it right away in Marvel's Designer. A lot of times I just do it because it's easy. And for most of the outfits, it just works just fine. Problem is usually even with the ghost, ghost points, it doesn't align per perfectly. But after that, just export, I exported the mesh aligned in the blender and, and it was ready. Then I just needed to rig it, uh, simple rigging. I'm covering it in my course, you know, how we just transfer weights and, and all that stuff. It's nothing too complicated. Besides like the crotch area, no really, you don't have really much these problem areas that usually would have with different kind of outfits. Then I took this outfit uh, again in Substance Painter, denim look, adjusted again these parameters to make it again, give this toy cloth look. Uh, then I found in the Etsy, the, the, the sticker templates that I was able to use to create an outfit, made these, these patterns, these iconic patterns that Chucky has, added some damage to it, not too much. Uh, I know that the, the original, like from the movie, the actually outfit is more damaged, but I kind of didn't want it to. I liked, liked actually how it looked, I added some again, blood a bit, you know, fresh blood, some old blood, kind of like break it out so the outfit doesn't look so uniform. I also baked 
the wrinkles from the high mesh, the high poly mesh, the one that is not retopologized. So I, I baked, baked the details. So that's why like, you know, we can see the wrinkles and then put everything together in Unreal Engine. And the last piece was hair. I made two versions. First, I actually made the classic version because I thought maybe that's gonna look better. The classic Chucky that, you know, like a schoolboy version but actually I didn't like it. So I made the second version of the hair that looked again, more inspired from this Chucky that is from the Seeds of Chucky. And it, I think it wor worked really, really well. Put everything together, now, then I just added eyes, obviously the damaged eye that is more damaged, I added like, you know, more redness. And then, yeah, just made some couple poses with, with the knife. And I also have uh, this animation demo. I put my Chucky in this MetaHuman, that MetaHuman demo video, because it's easier kind of usually showcase, because everybody knows that videos. Actually, for the day of work, Rilo really not having any kind of like after polishing, after editing, actually plays real well. And, uh, and I think it was just a really fun, project that I'm gonna start now slowly to I think move into the series where I just can create different kind of characters in you know a day let's say so that's about it happy Halloween again guys and let me know in, down in the comments uh, what character I should make next so I can definitely get some ideas from you guys I have myself ideas that I want to create some characters for that game project that I'm working on thanks for watching and see you next time bye